Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install Call of Duty Black Ops 7 open beta game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store on a Windows computer. Now the first step is to log out and log in with same account on Xbox app and Microsoft Store. So go to Microsoft Store at the top right, you will see a profile icon, click on it, click on sign out and then click on sign in and you have to select the account which has the game or which has the game pass. So make sure that you select the right account over here and then go to Xbox app and then click on your profile icon, sign out and then sign in and you have to select the same account which you have selected in Microsoft Store. So make sure that you select the right account which has the game or game pass and it has to be same in store and same in Xbox app. And once logged in, now you can try to install the game and then check. Still not installing. The next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, turn it on. Also make sure set time automatically. If this is off, turn it off. And then click on sync now. Sync now is important. And if you receive any kind of error in red color, just click on sync now once again, and then go to time and language, language and region, and make sure your country is selected over here, and then try to install it. Still not working. The next step is to run gaming services repair tool. Now for this, you can go to Xbox app, click on your profile icon, go to support option, and then click on gaming services repair tool, click on start repairing, click on yes to allow, and let the repair complete. The repair will take some time. And once you see, like once it is, repaired you can close this and then you can try to install the game once again you can even run gaming services repair tool from the website so go to the microsoft website you can search in google and go to the microsoft website and then on this page you will see downloadable version so scroll down and then click on downloadable version scroll down again click on download the gaming services repair tool for pc and then run this exe file Click on yes to allow and again it will perform repair let the repair complete this will take some time and once you see completed successfully like this now you can try to close this and launch uh, try to install the game once again each time when whenever you try any troubleshooting steps at the end make sure that you restart xbox app and microsoft store and then try to install the game next step is to if you are installing the game from xbox app you can use store so open microsoft store go to download option and in downloads if you see the game over here you can try to install the game from store uh, from download option if you find the game over here you will see in front of it install button so you can try to install it from here you can even go to library and if you find the game in the library try to install the game from store library and then check now if you are trying to install the game from microsoft store and you're facing the problem then in that case you can even use xbox app to install the game next step is to run this powershell command this command is provided in the video description copy this command type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and make sure that you run powershell as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow paste the command over here and then hit the enter key paste it, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. And during this process, you will see some errors in red color. So if you see any kind of errors like this in red color, just ignore it, let the process complete. And once this is complete, you will see everything red. Now you can open Microsoft Store or Xbox app once again, and then try to install it. Next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache folder. Now for this open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items and open app data folder open the local folder and then open packages folder scroll down and find microsoft windows store so here you can see microsoft windows store underscore some alphanumeric character open this folder here you can see local cache folder make a right click delete it and then relaunch microsoft store or xbox app and then try to install the game next step is to run ws reset command now for this type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset this will reopen microsoft store and then you can try to install the game 
still not working the next step is to repair or reset xbox app in store so xbox app type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click and then click on app settings now on this screen scroll down and then click on terminate option click on terminate and then click on repair and once the repair is done you can open xbox app and then check if that does not work you can even perform reset so if the repair does not work you can click on reset reset and once the reset is complete you can open xbox app and then you can check now it's still not working the next step is to update store to update store you can go to microsoft store and then go to download option and then you over here click on check for update and you will see update all options so click on update all once everything is updated now you can check still not working the next step is to install xbox identity provider for this open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website click on download and then click on open microsoft store if xbox identity provider is not installed in your computer you will see install button or maybe get option or maybe update option in my case it is already installed so install it and then check if you see the install button now still not working you can uninstall and reinstall gaming services so copy the first command type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell make sure that you open powershell as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow now paste the command over here copy this command and then paste it over here hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer once done you can copy the second command this command is also provided in the video description on the same window you can paste the command hit the enter key this will open microsoft store and then you will see the install option to install gaming services click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure this is installed and then you can relaunch xbox app or microsoft store and then you can check but it has to be installed once the installation is success now you can open xbox app and then try to install the game next step is to start all these services now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find xbox services at the very bottom here you can see four xbox services make a double click on each xbox services one by one set the startup type to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a double click set this to automatic and then hit apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again automatic over here apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find microsoft store install service make a double click set this to automatic again apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services make sure gaming services are running if not running make a right click click on start if highlighted or click on restart again make a right click uh, make a double sorry make a right click on the second gaming services and then click on start if highlighted or click on restart and once this is done again open xbox app or store and then try to install it still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so go to windows update click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl in windows search box and then click on inet cpl.cpl and go to the advanced tab over here scroll down here you can see use tls 1.0 use tls 1.1 1.2 1 1.3 make sure all four are checked and then hit apply apply is important and then click on ok relaunch xbox app or store and then check next step is to try installing the game to c drive or different drives so you can open xbox app now click on the profile icon over here and then go to settings and then go to install options now over here if the game is installing in c drive if you have any other drive you can try to install the game to different drive so click on this drop down options you can select different drive and then try to install the game if you are already trying to install the game to different drive in that case you can try to install the you can select c drive over here try to install the game to c drive and then check 
Now, still not working. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app in store. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box, make a right click on Xbox app, click on uninstall, uninstall. Now, once the uninstall is done, you can go to store and then you can type in Xbox app in search box and then click on Xbox app. Try to install the game from Microsoft store. Try to install the Xbox app from Microsoft store and then check. If you face any trouble installing Xbox app from store, in that case, you can go to Microsoft website and you can try to install it from the official Microsoft website. Click on download the app and then you can run this exe file. And you can launch, install it and then launch Xbox app and then try to install the game once again. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall store. Now for this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then make sure that you run Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here and then hit the enter key. This will uninstall Microsoft Store from your computer. This will be gone. This will uninstall store. Gone. Now you can copy the second command and paste it on the same window. Hit the enter key. This will reinstall Microsoft Store. Now you can launch store and Microsoft and Xbox app once again and make sure that you're logged in with same account on Xbox app and store. Use the same account. And then you can try to install the game. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now for this, you can go to this Microsoft website and then scroll down here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Now, once you run this exe file, uh, you will see this screen. Click on accept over here. And then by default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file over here and then click on next. You can save it to desktop. Click on save and then let the download complete. This process will take some time. And then click on finish options once done. Once you click on finish, do not close this manually. Let it close automatically. Once you click on finish, this will take a few seconds to close. And then you can go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file, and then make a double click on setup file, run the setup file, click on yes to allow, click on next, click on accept over here. And here you can see ready to install. By default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So make sure this is checked and then hit install. After the installation, log into the computer and then you can try to install the game once again from Xbox app or store. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this game successfully. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.